Hello everybody, welcome to Earthbound Part 8. I'm your host, the one only dig. Last time we left off about to enter the creepy hotel room, where the woman entered, this woman. Let's see what happens when we enter. Yeah, monsters. We're getting bum rushed. Ow, how rude. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. No shit, Sherlock. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? The door is locked. Of course it is. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we never met. Jeff. Jeff, we need your help. I am Paul and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. Winter is a small country to the north. Snowwood Boarding House. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we never met, but you are one and only hope. Ah, Jeff, I just dreamt that you and I were taking a walk. What's wrong? Plenty. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? Alright, there must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I hope you can get out of here. Tony joined you. Okay, Tony. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the Southern Lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true, that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. I bet there are. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at a party tomorrow. That's the exit. Let's explore a bit more before we leave. You Maxwell? Oh, Jeff and Tony. You startled me. Are you looking for a late-night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Ann Donuts, was, were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Hessenberg. Remember has it, he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. Jeff got the key of the locker. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. This one's locked. The key is bent, doesn't fit into the keyhole. That doesn't help me. Am I going to use to fix it? Well, I don't want to leave if I have this stuff out of the walker. I don't know if I can or not. Haha, <laughs> the key didn't work, did it? 
I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. You're a jerk. Jeff got the bad key machine. If you are Dr. Andonut's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Not when you're around, Maxwell, the jerk. Bad key machine, for there's nothing in this locker. Nothing. No is there anything in any of these lockers? Please tell me yes. Holmes hat. Check the R3 while we're here doing this. Pop gun. Nothing. Okay, last one. Okay, let's equip the pop gun. Now we gotta do the equip menu. Raise our defense, raise our attack, very nice. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Aww. Okay, I cannot fight any of those rams. I'm in no shape to fight them. Drugstore best friend. Let's go in here. The bubble gum here is incredible. You should see the size of the bubbles I can blow. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey, he's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. So, do you want him? Sure. Thanks, the monkey's yours. Jeff got the pack of bubble gum. Q U K, give me some gum. Monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. Oh, how cute. The Bubble Monkey joins you. <laughs> Interesting name. Now, I forget which way we have to go, but I cannot run to a ram. I know I cannot fight the ram. I try to avoid conflict as much as I can, actually. Shit, wrong way. Can I deal with a dog? Let's see. What do we dog? Oh, monkey's attack it's helping me. Thanks, monkey. Cost that much damage. Appreciate the gifts you're giving me, Poochie. A tent. Can we go inside the tent? Oh, cool. Team animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. No, not you. I'll talk to the other guy. So why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink, perhaps some tea? Yes. Are you feeling much better now? Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> okay, this doesn't pay to go to the bar for I know Jeff does not possess any psychic abilities. Of course, the nerd doesn't get any psychic abilities. How ironic. Crap, we have to go that way. I know those rams with the one hit KO me if I get to fight with them, so let's avoid that if we can. Make sure I'm not missing any gifts along the way. Your tent. Empty tent, okay. Why, right, someone just pitch a tent? So, you've also been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in luck. 
We may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. What a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. This one does. We go inside these tents? That's an empty tent, okay. I'm the cook for the Tessie Washing Club. How about some stew? Sure. No, no, there's no need to pay me. I wasn't about to. You, yes, I know. I'm heading south, Paula. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. Right, Jeff can fix broken items if you sleep. I remember that. Okay, I guess that means it's morning. Go in this tent. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll be getting the newspaper? <laughs> I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Achoo! I feel like I'm catching a cold. <laughs> Did I say anything? Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. No. Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. Oh, look, it's the Walking Nest Testy Monster. And away we go. A piece of music for crossing a lake. This is more like crossing the finish line trumpet tune. Hey, you made it. Come along, monkey. Oh god, Ram. Go away, Ram. Let's try going up this way first. And there's nothing there, great. Go away, Ram, I say go away. He's not going away, damn it. Good, now we went. Cool. Cool beans. I'm not getting down brick road? I don't remember there being a brick road. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. Thanks. Brick road? I can't remember what that is. Look into my Moss dungeon. Brick road. Oh, yeah, I, now I remember what brick road is. You run to him later, actually. Okay, but Bubble Monkey, we gotta talk about your offensive skills against these mouses. Or mice. Don't crit me, please. Okay. Bread roll. I'll keep taking those bread rolls. I have no idea how this maze works itself out. Wait, now the president's attacking me. The worthless protoplasm. What a name. Ow, they hit pretty hard. Oh, 
I'll heal next turn. Hopefully I'm not too late. Shit. You had to cause exactly 8 damage. Not 7, but fucking 8. Where's it gonna throw me now? Back here, okay. Fooey. We should have that much money on me, so I didn't boost. No, go away, Ram! I know I can't fight that Ram, we just clobber me. Ram, you're really starting to annoy me. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? Damn it. Oh, it's a goat. It's not a ram, it's a goat. Oh, that's not too much damage at all. What was I thinking? Okay, that's a bit disconcer more disconcerting. Let's go this way and fight the duck. Mad duck. The eyes definitely look like mad. Not a problem, I don't have PSI. Keep doing that as much as you want, mad duck. How much health does this mad duck have? Whatever, it's done now. Nice. Insecticide spray, okay. Is that the worker's proplasm again? Yes, it is. Presence to the right and want to grab. Do I have a space for it? No, I do not. Eat something. Now I have space for it. Broken iron. Uh, up. Another mad duck. What does the sign say? Watch for falling materials? Oh, the photograph. Photographer. Yeah, Jeff doesn't do the peace sign for some strange reason. Don't know why. I guess he's not such a peaceful person. <laughs> For help, you worthless protoplasm.
You know, I have to heal again, so I'll go back for the croissant. You got that. Monkey, stay close. And that rowdy mouse. Ow, stop doing that. What did I just say? I guess eat the croissant. Stun gun, is that better than have a Yes it is. Equip it. I'll save the game. Oh, hello, Maxwell Labs here. Oh, hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes. All right, I have everything written down. Do you want to take a break now? Continue. You become such a hard worker. I gotta get back to work myself. Go for it, bad boy. Quick, beep, beep, beep. Where you go? Please come back again. Brick Road. Okay. Oh. Maybe it was too easy? My name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I devote my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andola's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of a human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I become Dungeon Man. Do you want to get a good night's rest? Sure. Take care, come back again. Alright, into this cave we go. Those were ants for a second, there's pimples on the ground. They're a mouse. Oh, the slug and a mouse. Wow, one hit KO. Nice. Simple. That's just the way I like it. What's in here? Crap. Let's weave it. Now we eat something else. What the... Bread roll? Sure. Oh, a lot of enemies at this dungeon. Let's take the mouse first. Oh, nice. That's not so nice. Nice, nice, nice. As long as you don't call for help, Slug, I'm fine with you. Sure, there's a lot of fungus in this cave. Now we have attacking fungus, great. I think it's spore made, by the way. 
Don't spread your spores, please. Okay, be absent mind all you watch. Don't spread your spores. Thank you. Heal again. Those face—I mean, I know those face cause immense damage against bosses. Banning all these damn cookies. <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop giving me cookies so I can't take them. There's an option to use the item immediately. Just isn't though, because the game was not that advanced. Hamburger time. Cheap bracelet. Take that. Oh right, now I remember. We used the monkey to get the rope. Thought that was a dead end for a second. We got the bracelet, so I'm happy about that. How can I be so foolish? Okay, use the pack above them. I have to rope down. Thank you. No, we can even climb down. Only nest kids are the power of this place. Right, we have to come back for that. Oh, she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Oh, monkey, how could you abandon me like that? How dare you? I'm all alone. <laughs> oh, poor me. Poor Jeff. Can't, I cannot engage the Neanderthals. They would clop me. Shit. Around the tree. Around the tree. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. Yes, I'm familiar with that. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. I know there's a hole in the center, but there's no point going down there because the the path is blocked for now. Here's where my dad's lab, by the way. We're on the back. Okay, he's making sure.
Going upstairs. I'll leave it wherever it is. I'll always come back for it. Mr. Brickroll, the dungeon maker refers you, right? No. Not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. But why did you put me in the boarding school then? I don't understand. I never understood that. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I also like a donut right about now. How dare you? Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yes. Yes. Well, at least I asked. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paul must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'll try to make a phase destroyer that can connect, connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I want to use an air ambition I call the Sky Runner. It's a little bit old, but it will certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to my th 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 to the message. The round machine over there is the Sky Runner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten or so years or so. You're weird. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you press any, try, try pressing the button on the controller? Oh, there we go. Now we're in the sky. Don't we see four? He, he dips down the four side. Yep, that's four side. Okay, he goes up, then he goes down to the desert, right? There's a desert. Yeah. Now we should be in three. Yep, there we are. Getting a signal. to a halt. Right below us. Pew. Oh, system's failure. <laughs> man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. I'm not taking it quite lightly, Jeff. Oh well. You'll have to explain the thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Yes. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. Jeff joined you. It is possible to fix for the time being. Use the bad key machine up on this bad boy. And we're free. Alright, what? Wow, we're at 35 minutes, guys. Okay, before we wrap up, I want to sell off some items, then we'll finish.
Yeah, talk to the merchant again. This the black arms deal, I should say. Yeah, I don't need to skip sandwich. I don't think you need the hand aid either. But if I need dollars, I'll just keep it for now. Right, we do not need the pop gun anymore. Anything else we don't need? Yeah, the rule of the protractor get rid of. No, I wasn't done yet, sorry. Should I get rid of the protractor? Also, check out the drugstore. Maybe there's something else Jeff could buy there for his body? I don't know. There's so much cash on me, though. No, that's fine. 156, that's fine. I forgot I bought stuff. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of forget what we have to do next. Well, someone just walked to the circus tent, but I don't have time to explore that just now. For now, we'll just go in the hotel and save. Because we, we're out of time. Hey guys, that'll do it for this part. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.